good evening everyone good evening to good the class <clears throat> and good welcome evening. today is world good evening heart sir day. yes today is world heart day so uh, i would i we will be talking about heart today again and we will cover some of the aspects which we had covered earlier so that it reminds you of the importance of heart and all of you take care of your heart so earlier we were discussing last class we had discussed about the human reproductive system where we had talked about uh, organs associated with reproductive system we had talked about the functions of these organs <laughs> then we discussed about what happens after fertilization till delivery of the child how what are what is the growth pattern and how the baby grows inside mother's womb and then we started off with the ailments associated in the associated with the reproductive system in females and we had just finished endometriosis in the last class so i hope the class is with me yes sir sir <clears throat> okay sir so the next issue which comes up is uh, often found is fibrosis or ah, fibroids fibroids. Fibroids. fibroids in the ut uterus uterine fibroids are generally non cancerous growths in the uterus that cause heavy menstrual flow heavy bleeding yes yes and pain sometimes they cause pressure in the nearby organs but most of the time they are non cancerous in nature then another ailment is pelvic inflammatory disease in short it is also known as pid it is basically infection of female reproductive organs often caused by sexually transmitted infections mm. it can lead to pelvic pain scarring and infertility ach then ovarian cysts this is also very common <clears throat> these are basically fluid filled sacs which can develop in the ovaries and sometimes cause pain and complications and disrupt menstrual cycle then is cervical cancer malignancy that takes affects the cervix often associated with hpv virus infer then last one is infertility when when can we say that the in, it is a case of infertility infertility can happen both male and female no they both should we are be talking checked. about female infertility no egg formation kuch aisa hoga shayad kya फर्टिलिटी one year of unprotected um, sexual correct. intercourse sir okay that's very correct and <clears throat> i want the class to clap for dr uh, yes sir thank you ji and 
she has rightly uh, said that if somebody has uh, had one year of sexual intercourse without any protection and has not conceived when she is not then, able to conceive wait yeah then yes. it is it can be termed as infertility infertility yeah, yeah. <clears throat> now <clears throat> with this there could be various reasons for infertility yes such as they were talking about fallopian tube blockage ovary not producing proper eggs then uh, pcod also kabhi pcod pcos they all mm. cause similar this thing blockages for the eggs to be reach fallopian tube irregularity menstruation yeah <clears throat> so there could be so many reasons for this that we will discuss in practicals now we are talking about the issues with males uh, one more thing uh, uti about uti uti is not part of reproductive system <laughs> uti is basically an infection urinary yeah, tract infection. infection yeah it's infection yeah it's infection but yes it is painful Uh, eating and all the, those things they are there in UTI. Yes, yes. And it can hinder uh, infertility. Okay. But not necessarily it means it doesn't have a direct role in stopping infertility. Then we are now discussing about the male uh, ailments associated with reproductive systems. and the first and the foremost is erectile dysfunction basically it's the inability to achieve or maintain an erection sufficient for sexual intercourse then there are prostate issues in the males this includes condition of bph that is benign prostate hyperplasia which can cause urinary problems and prostate cancer now prostate is a gland which uh, is connected with two tubes urinary uh, one is tu- urinary bl- uh, tube coming from the urinary bladder passes through this and the other is <clears throat> the tube coming from uh, coming to uh, for uh, with the semen that connectivity with the semen uh just a minute Ah, that is uh, the tube is called vas deferens, which uh, brings in the response to the urethra. So <clears throat> this is this is the junction box. Whenever a person is doing sexual intercourse, the urinary tube automatically gets blocked, and urine can't get be released at that time. so uh, this gland also produces certain liquids which are uh, which provide nutrition to the sperms and which provide lubri- lubrication also during sexual intercourse now <clears throat> mainly in males after the andropause that is whenever the sexual activity uh, reduces that is the time when the uses of this gland 
is less and as the uses of this gland stops the functioning of the gland stops the gland starts getting enlarged and this is a natural phenomenon but it is it is not fixed that every male will have enlarged prostate sometimes it has been found that the prostate reduces in size but in both the cases whether it is reduced in size or it has increased in size it will cause urinary obstruction if it has reduced in size suddenly the urine uh, urethra will get reduced will get constricted and will the urine will not be able to flow and if it has increased in size it is going to cause compression to urethra Uh, is it correct yeah. commander naraj is yeah. it correct when people started having posterior uh, uh, supplements after 40 without asking anyone without uh, no they didn't no 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 supplements no supplements to be taken no. like this until and unless you have you a problem supplement. okay because sometimes it may be that the person never has any problem with urination Until okay. unless if you are going in for a treatment, mm -hmm. otherwise your testosterone levels have to be maintained higher, and you have to be sexually active to keep this uh, functional condition. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> then uh, next is testicular conditions uh, yeah this can be cancer in the testicles epididymitis uh, epididymitis that is inflation inflammation of epididymis and testicular torsion that is this testicles may twist acha and this is an a med medical emergency twisting of the testicles is a medical emergency must be immediately hospitalized you must rush to the hospital then one more problem which takes place with the testicles is that testicles sometimes they get stuck they get uplifted and they get stuck on top now when the child takes birth this is an important thing which i am uh, going to tell you whenever a child takes birth if it is male the testicles will not be released they are not in released condition they are stuck into the place there are points for testicles they are stored in that place so that during this pause when the birth natural birth is taking place these testicles do not get damaged so the nature had made pockets for testicles to be stored and for the safety during uh, uh, during delivery and sometimes it happens that these uh, testicles do not drop down they remain stuck into the pocket and that causes severe pain and difficulty so most of the people who are not aware about this they have to uh, they get in panic but it's not an emergency you can go to the hospital doctors will do the needful and they can get the testicle released <clears throat> then is male infertility mm. most of the time it is 
issue with the in male for infertility issue is with the spons yes now spons are present in all males like eggs are present in all females in the ovaries sperms mm -hmm. are present with all males in the testicles mm -hmm. the only problem is could be that the sperms are not getting discharged the passes of release of sperms from the testicles is choked is blocked then the second difficulty is the <clears throat> epididymis which basically takes care of maturing of the cells is non functional or dysfunctional so the cells are not they have got released from the testicles have reached epididymis but they are not getting matured then the third issue is that the cells are not getting vast difference when they are moving they are not getting sufficient lubrication for flowing out so nutritional deficiency also causes the cells sperm yes. not to develop even tobacco and uh, smoking liquor everything affects the entire yes. body but it doesn't uh, means there are those persons all, 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 all these things they do affect uh, indirectly uh, infertility but then there is a uh, way channel out it's not directly going to affect infertility but indirectly there are ways how and why what reaction takes place where causes tobacco uh, becomes a reason for infertility in males or alcohol excessive alcoholism becomes a reason there are roots to this it is not directly you can't say ki, uh, taking alcohol or tobacco is reason of infertility it's not direct reason of infertility <clears throat> okay then not in uh, this thing but uh, their semen is not uh, this thing uh, healthy yeah that see uh, it will happen uh, the sperms are not healthy because when they have come out they are not they didn't get proper nutrition okay so if they are not getting because they have to mature yes Okay. So that maturity, if it is not there, and they are not able to move, okay, some uh, millions of uh, sperms they get released in one uh, in during one intercourse, and <clears throat> in this you will find some will be damaged, some may not have tails, some may not have head. some may not have got proper nutrition nourished mm -hmm. so there are lot of this thing that is why in nature this is male sperm is the weakest cell in human body and egg is the strongest cell of the human body <laughs> it is as strong feeling as it is as strong yeah <laughs> it is the lady नहीं दिस धरती माता धरती माता जोक से जोक से पार्ट आई हैड सीन अ पोस्टर समवेयर वेयर इट इट वाज रिटन दैट द फीमेल ऑफ एनी स्पीशीज इज मच मोर स्ट्रांगर देन द मेल ऑफ दैट स्पीशीज यस आई हैड सीन दिस पोस्टर इट इज वेरी ट्रू ऑल द मेल्स हु आर सिटिंग इन द क्लास दे आर नॉट लाइकिंग इट रिक्सेल No, yeah. no, they are just listening because they are listen from their wife also. I, and I am part of the other community. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Jason, hey, yeah, you yeah, agree yeah. or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Then uh, another problem which comes up is hydrocell or variocell. Now there is. Uh, 
Can anybody tell me what is the difference between hydrocell and variocell? Uh, hydrocell sir, is the swelling of the testes. Okay. And what is variocell? No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. See, whenever there is water accumulation, it is hydrocell. Water accumulation in the sac where testicles are kept. And whenever your veins have got inflamed, then it is variocell. Inflamed veins can also cause swelling in the sac. Then there are uh, certain penile disorders. These conditions are like per Peyronie's disease. That is curvature of the penis. The penis is not, it doesn't erect straight. It is curved. Now this is by birth, this problem may be there with some males. Then <clears throat> another issue is pain during erection. There are some males, whenever uh, there is erection caused, they get continuous pain and severe pain. Because of this, they can't undergo, uh, they can't do intercourse. So these are the problems which normally males face in their reproductive organs. And the biggest problem is that reproductive organs are considered very secret. I don't know what is the secret about reproductive organs. These are Organs like any other organs in the body. But they are least talked about the issues with the reproductive system or issues with the organs. They are least talked about. Yes. And most of the time people keep on hiding issues. They do not want yes. to discuss. Very true. True, sir. True. So, uh, but... I don't find anything wrong in discussing or talking because these are, these, these are part of our body and these organs have a very important role. Otherwise, we would not have been existing. Yes, okay. They are responsible for our existence. We have set, uh, we have set a boundary our... of uh, boundary. No? We have set up boundaries. We have unnecessarily set up such boundaries. Yeah. Uh, in the sake of religion and... Uh... Elders, see, I'll tell you, them. I'll tell you one uh, this thing that uh, whatsoever we do in life, whether we achieve a uh, lot of money or business or anything or buildings, or you may be become very rich, ultra rich. What happens with all mm -hmm. this? The money, uh, everything, it's what you material, earn is, material thing. Whatsoever, <laughs> yeah, it is material. But we are all working for material things only, na? So I do, whatsoever, I'm finding whatsoever, of mind. whatsoever we, we, we earn in our life or whatsoever we achieve in our life passes down to our children, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. It is for our next generation. But it should be healthy and positive, no? See, whether you are doing healthy things or you are doing unhealthy, but everything goes to the children, na, isn't it? Yes, sir. Ultimately, what is your aim? Earn everything and give it to your child. Yes, sir. But do you take the same care when you are planning to conceive a child? Yes, I, I have done. 
Yeah. But there are very few people who care for this. Mm. Most of the time, conceiving is the accidental. Yeah. No, no. It should be mentally prepared. You have to be very, very careful. Mm. People keep on doing intercourse. If you are not mentally prepared, that milk also doesn't come. Mm. Yeah. People do intercourse and accidentally they conceive. And next month when the periods doesn't yes. come, the test is done and <laughs> everybody starts congratulating you mm. for the mistake which you have made. Without, mm. yes, yes. Because if your child who is going to inherit everything what you have should be the best child. Actually. Yes. Should have all good qualities. Should have all good genes. Everything yes. should be the best. And how can everything be best with the child? Until and unless father and mother both are biologically to the best of their conditions. Yes. Mentally they are in the best of their mental conditions. They do not have any worries. Yes, well planned. And they are planned and executed well. Yes. So you should get your test done before yes. going in for uh, planning for a child. Yes. Both males and females should get their proper test done. Yes. Sir. And should be ready and should prepare their body also. Yes. Physically, mentally, biologically, all three aspects must get covered. Because you are going to do, you are going to create miracle. You are going to create yes. a child. And mm -hmm. it is a very important aspect of our life. Entire life's hard work, effort, everything Multiple. depends yes. on what type of child you produce. Yes. So why not to put in effort why not to be plan it out and why not uh, get everything checked up before going in for conceiving? Yes, or it is very true. Practice. Absolutely right, sir. So uh, maybe we all have made mistakes in life, but let's educate our children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's oh, tell them it should values. be healthy talk uh, in the house, you know. It should be healthy talk. We should educate uh, our kids about sex and everything because neighbor will never uh, teach you in a uh, positive way. The mm. parents is yeah. the best teacher to tell uh, your uh, kids. The biggest thing is there is a lot of hesitation in the society. Mm. The girl doesn't know when the uh, mm. newlyweds mm. get married. Mm. They don't know anything. Mm. You know, I'm sorry, sorry to say probably today they know everything. Yes. But earlier <laughs> times, they never used to know anything. Yes. <laughs> and it used to be the first day, used to be the first time for everything. Okay. Okay. In so, our village, yeah. In our village, other, my, when my mom was alive, na, and we were just a teenager, mm. so she used to tell ki during period, you should not cross any uh, male's weapon, otherwise, you'll get pregnant. <laughs> we have brought up like that, you know. You should not cross any male's uh, weapon, any weapon. Okay. Mm -hmm. so our village was like that. Mm -hmm. So you used to be very scared, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, now the time is different. So yes, uh, let's. So I have I have completed reproductive uh, this thing system. If anybody has any answer, let's discuss. Any questions? Last time, uh, Doctor Rajeshwari, someone wants to discuss. No, we yeah. have no, one question. Yeah. Sir, I have said that next next class will be asked. No question, sir. Yeah, two two. Our time was over. Yeah, I have said that next class we will discuss. So you have to tell me the question. Then only I can discuss. <laughs> one question is there, sir. Uh, uh, what is algospermia, sir? 
algoids pernia let me see i think uh, this firms not proper just a minute uh, because algoids pernia i know Sir, it's low sperm counts. Yeah, something. It has to do with some number of sperm. Just a minute. Yeah, it is the absence. It is the absence of sperm in male semen. That is azoospermia. Algoospermia to me. ऐसे ही हो सकता है सर मेरा हो सकता है वर्ड में कुछ हाँ एजो स्पर्मिया है एजो स्पर्मिया आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एल्गो स्पर्मिया बट एजो स्पर्मिया इज एब्सेंस ऑफ स्पॉन्स इन द सीमेन एनी अदर क्वेश्चन Command sir, uh, Raji, sorry. Uh, I want to ask question. Yeah. Yeah. Of of sir. Sir. Hey, let's listen to Mr. Jason. He is asking some questions. Yeah. So I want to ask you about man's testosterone. Uh, at what age the testosterone of man will drop, uh, and also the erection of the man will drop? Is there any condition for this? Or can no. we? Uh, oh. Uh, the. There can't be. It can happen even at the age of twenty years, fifteen years. It may not erect. It may. It may be uh, congenital. Maybe by birth only it has certain defects. So it can happen at any time. And uh, the erection may stop at any age. There are people who have erection up to seventy, eighty also. But there are people who whose uh, erection may stop at fifty, forty-five. Thirty. Oh. It can happen at any age. There are no fixed timings for this. Is it due to testosterone, sir? The level of testosterone no, drop. Not Are only testosterone. Basically, see, there are hormones getting secreted in the brain. Oh. So it 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 is because of the hormonal uh, action also. And yes, then sir. testosterone is another factor to this. But blood supply mainly the blood supply to the uh, muscles of the penis is oh, what see. causes this, and this could be not only this thing, even mental disturbance. Mm. Mental disturbance may also cause erectile dysfunction. Yes, mm. mentally it's more. I think. Yeah. Um, so yes. it is. It is hormonal. It is mental. Okay. It can be physical. So there could be any reason, and there is no but uh, time which can be set time or is set for this. Mm. So any other question, Mr. Jason? Anything else? Uh, so how to make it optimal, sir? I mean, what I mean, what kind of lifestyle? I mean, uh, maybe the uh, commander can advise or give suggestion. So if, uh, one is, uh, uh, I'll tell you that. In India, I don't know how many people know, or you also know. There used to be an exercise called dand bathak. Any? Do you know that you have to sit down? And yeah, sit. yeah. Sit yeah. up. Oh. You have to stand with your legs around one feet open yeah. or one and a half feet, and then sit down and get up. Sit down and oh. get up. It's like with full this, squat. Ah, squatting. Squatting. Yeah. Squatting. Oh. squatting. Then with this, your pelvic muscles become strong. I see. And if pelvic muscles are Exercise strong, exercise is very important. Yeah. Which has a lot of role in many organs which are associated in the lower organs in the body. Yeah. It helps in uh, keeping your er erection uh, long for longer duration. Then. Your exercising of the circulatory system, such as circulatory system, is a closed loop system. All ends are closed. 
it is moving inside only so what you have you must do is mm. that every day for 20 to 25 minutes you should double your heart beat ah uh, see cardio cardio exercise cardio mm. similarly your respiratory system which plays a very important role of providing oxygen to all the cells for production of energy yes so your breath should double for 20 to 25 minutes every day <laughs> so to maintain these systems you have to be healthy i see then your trouble trouble taking capacity your stress uh, handling capacity of the brain has to be high meditation also meditation meditation only will cause that stress handling ability high stress level and all na no? which is good so these are the things which can help you in maintaining it into a uh, better state for longer duration yes you should stay young stay happy <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah any you question keep your heart Anybody green sir <laughs> so this so can i ask a question yes please these days youngsters who are going to gymming and all they do take testosterone boosters for uh, enhanced physical activity so is that recommended no because i think without even no. knowing its effects they are taking no no yeah. even if super specialist is giving testosterone and it is still not recommended yes it is very I'll, te- i'll tell you because see uh, in my short journey with the medicine world and dealing with the human body i have seen cases coming to me where instead of this muscle or that six packs in the this thing abdomen their mm. kidney started getting enlarged because they took testosterone mm. Mm. Steroid, no? testosterone Steroid. is a hormone which uh, not testosterone ha huh? this hormone test can disbalance into the body okay and organs i i mm. still do not recommend i am not against gym or people going to gymming for gymming but mm. i still recommend people because i have been born and brought up on the field this means yes. we have worked in the fields then i was in sanic school we have run around played games everything on the field yes. on the ground we never yes. had gym in the school at that time then i went to nda they are also running around and doing your this thing navy yes. again we were only on the field or in action so i recommend that best form of exercise is on the field yes it's very it's not in the gym mm-hmm. you get fresh air to breathe outside okay. and so that is the best form and taking you why why should you be taking yadi itna hi zarurat hai muscles develop karne ki build up karne ki so exercise your muscles will develop each new piece yes, of food your muscles will develop ghar mein jhadu pocha lagane se bhi ho jata hai yeah that is that is a very important exercise sahi nahi bol rahe ho nasi ki jo na aur yadi apne ghar mein na pura ho to padosi ke ghar mein bhi jhadu pocha laga sakta hai elderly people high level of testosterone are also responsible for baldness in male hair loss yes. in Correct. even that whey protein na no, people who are taking oh. randomly that is also causing a uh, infertility nowadays whey See, protein it is I, very I very dangerous to be- take you know best people is do take, take nutritious diet and exercise yeah. in the field mm. that is the best thing to maintain your health actually yes so any other questions uh, charu i think it got answered right yes yes yeah. okay shall we go to the next part 
I have to show show you a video today on yeah. heart. Okay. Heart. Yes, sir. And then I have to talk a little bit on heart because it would not be good if I don't talk on heart today. Okay. Okay. So heart. How many pumps are there in the heart? First question. Heart, heart is a muscular yeah. pump. All of us know this. Yeah. Is it one pump, pump or two pumps? Two pumps, sir. Two. Where are two pumps? Four pumps. Where is the second one? Huh? <laughs> Where is the second pump? Mr. Jason, four pumps. I <laughs> 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 One is hand pump. Sunny dear ka hand pump. No, no. No, no, no. Two pumps. Two pumps. <laughs> 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 Tell me where are the pumps? Left atrium and right atrium. Left atrium and right. Atrium. Yeah. <clears throat> there are two uh, pumps. The left atrium and ventricle. That is left ventricle and left uh, right ventricle. These are the two pumps. Basically, they push out the blood. Not yes. atrium, but ventricles. Okay. One pushes out the blood, pumps out the blood to lungs. And one pushes out, pumps out the blood to the rest of the body. Now, which one pushes out the blood to the lungs? Which, which chamber of the heart? What is the name of that chamber? Right. Right ventricle, sir. Right ventricle. Right, right, right ventricle. ventricle. Yeah, very correct, Mr. Jason. Thank you very much. That's the correct answer. And what about the to the body? To the body. Left ventricle. Yeah, left, left ventricle. ventricle. And which one has got uh, stronger muscles? Right left ventricle left. or right ventricle? Left, left ventricle. ventricle. Left. Left one, sir. Left, sir. Um, Why I left one? Because to push the blood all over the body. Yeah, yeah very correct. <laughs> it is fine because it is pushing out the blood. So in size, your left ventricle is little smaller than right ventricle because it has more muscles. Okay. So... Uh, I think the class knows about the heart, everything about heart. We have gone through how the oxygenation of the blood takes place. Then how many valves are there in the heart? Four. Four, Four valves. Four. Four. Uh, can you name and tell us the location? What is the purpose of the valves? To need direction. Prevent back flow. Prevention. Dr. Rajeshwar, what, what were you saying? What did you say? To avoid black back flow, sir. Yes, that's very yes. correct. The, mm -hmm. Yeah, very correct. It is basically to avoid, the function of the valves is to avoid back flow of the blood. So, where is the first valve located? Right. Mm. Right. Uh -huh. Where where is it located? It's located um, atrium, at the exit. Right exit. Atrium and uh, left right ventricle. Uh, ventricle. Middle of the right. Yeah, very correct. Left. It is located in between right, right atrium and right ventricle. Right ventricle. Right. Now, which is the yeah. next valve in line? And where is it located? At the end of right valve. At the end of? 
right ventricle right ventricle okay and what is the name of the valve pulmonary valve pulmonary valve pulmonary valve, pulmonary valve is located at the end of the right ventricle because from right ventricle the blood is pushed to the lungs mm -hmm. and this valve is named because of the lungs lungs is uh, the, uh, the name given is pulmonary because of the lung so mm -hmm. it doesn't allow the blood from the lungs to come back to right ventricle now where is the next valve and name of the valve <clears throat> between left atrium and left ventricle uh, it's a uh, mitral valve yeah very correct what is the difference between mitral valve and tricuspid valve Jaldi uh, jaldi answer chahiye, jyada time nahi hai. Quick answers. Sir, it's also called bicuspid, no sir? Yeah, it is also called bicuspid, yes. <laughs> That's the difference, tricuspid and bicuspid valve. There are three leaves in tricuspid valve, there are two leaves in bicuspid valve. Mitral valve is also known as bicuspid valve. Bicuspid valve. Okay. Right, sir. Now, what is what is the next valve? Aortic valve. Where is it Aortic. fitted? Uh, as, uh, in between left uh, ventricle and uh, out, arch of heart. Yeah. So, it basically avoids the blood can't reflow back into the left ventricle once it is pushed out to the aorta for supplying it to the rest of the body. So these are the valves, this is the function. And there are four chambers in any case, you know, there are two pumps. Now, can, can anybody guess that how many liters of blood does the heart pump in a day? Any guessing? How many liters? You can no. you can answer in kiloliters also, Mr. Jason. <laughs> Kilometer. <laughs> if you want, you can answer in gallons also. No issues. Oh, okay, sir. Four. Five, Five liters, sir. Five four liters. liters. Okay. Because body has got five liters of blood. Isn't it? <laughs> but it is a continuous process, but, no, sir. So, then once the heart has pumped out five liters, then it should stop functioning. <laughs> <laughs> it is a continuous process <laughs> all through the <clears throat> day and night. Maybe after. That's why it must be in kiloliters. Or... Hey, kiloliters. How many liters? Any idea? Mm -hmm. It is around 15,100 liters per day. Oh, wow. 15,100 15, liters per day it pumps out. Heart is pumping out this much of blood. Wow. And this blood flows in how many kilometers? If this blood was to be flown in the arteries or in the pipelines, how much area would it cover in a day? In kilometers. Earlier was in liters, now this is kilometers. Why say you wanna say yes, sir? Fifteen thousand kilometer plus five hundred kilometer. Any 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 other guess? Any other guess? Any number? Your Maybe, uh, Maybe one kilometer, sir. One kilometer, okay. Then rest eighty nine thousand kilometers will remain dry. <laughs> Well, like <laughs> there will be no blood found in rest 89,000 kilometers of journey. Uh, <laughs> that means 9,000 kilometers the blood travels in a human body in one day. So this is a massive task being done by your heart. And that's why each one of you is duty bound to take care of your heart. All right, sir. And a lot of heart failures are taking place, especially yeah. post COVID.
तो इट बिकम्स योर you you have to be more responsible towards your heart now how will you be responsible towards your heart what should you do to keep your heart healthy don't take stress yeah <laughs> eating eating healthy food is it positive exercise or stress that no, is the biggest stress problem. Sir, mm. nowadays uh, without anything uh, there will be a stress compulsory. Yes. Yeah. Stress, <laughs> nahi lena hi ek bada stress hai. Yes. Yeah. It's like you know in uh, uh, from a little uh, child, from little kid to uh, all aged people, all are having a different type of stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nowadays. So th- this means stress can't be avoided. So stress no. is. Uh, constant we can say it's stress is constant now let's leave stress and think about something else that how you can keep your heart healthy as a whatever uh, uh, like anything but we should be do uh, doing activity regularly activity yes. is very important physical and activity. having balanced diet this time yes it may be in the exercise form or it may be in the walking and or if you... something activity <laughs> okay agreed if you Proper can't keep your, if you can't take care of your heart kindly hand over your heart to somebody else <laughs> make heart. somebody else responsible for your heart is it that will become heart donation kind donation the body heart donation kiya to hum nahi rahenge okay heart donation so Do you know how to keep the heart healthy? We are all doing an exercise for keeping the heart healthy. Laughing, 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 laughing. Correct. Being so happy. This is how you can keep your heart healthy. Yes, sir. Okay. मैंने आज ही सर इनको रिक्सल मैम से रिक्वेस्ट किया था कि आप लाफिंग एक्सरसाइज और जुम्बा एक्सरसाइज जारों पर थी में जो है इंट्रोड्यूस कराने के लिए. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you can call the class 15 minutes before that and yes, 15 yes. minutes of jumba and laughing exercise then we can commence the class mm. yeah do let me know before only because i have to go to my studio again for that okay. mm-hmm. oh, oh. you can do it here only uh, no studio i i feel that uh, environment you know mm. okay <clears throat> okay okay so okay. now uh, i think <laughs> all of you are happy now so I you can just... do freely ghar aaj ki exercise hard ki ho gayi hogi to we will now go and see a video on zumba dance i was telling you long back mm-hmm. that is by dr b m hegle cardiologist just if you can go through with my status <laughs> yeah sure sure <laughs> zumba <laughs> so uh, pritam ji can you kindly yes, show us the video yes sir yes. although it's time but <laughs> let's do it. okay sir okay sir okay sir triple eight triple two से है ऊपर ही होना चाहिए अभी थोड़ी देर पहले भेजा है मैंने हरे कृष्णा तो आज हम चर्चा करेंगे पितृपक्ष के बारे में जिसे कनागत भी कहते हैं 
हमारे साल में यू शुड डू इट ऑन एम्प्टी स्टमक यू स्टैंड लाइक दिस एंड देन ब्रीद इन एंड ब्रीद आउट ब्रीद आउट ब्रीद आउट ब्रीद आउट ब्रीद आउट ब्रीद आउट अ चेयर प्रीतम जी दिस इज नॉट द बिगनिंग बीएम हेगड़े डॉक्टर बीएम प्रिंसिपल सर देश पांडे साहब and my dear friend a really good friend indeed and a very ye, bright ek ghante ka ho gaya and my name this is not the one there's a world of difference between the brain and the mind sorry bushan this is oh one hour very very art mere ka hi video hai ye i think 837 minutes wala jo video hai na आप फिर से उसमें क्लिक करिए प्रीतम जी लिंक पे नाइन नाइन मिनट फिफ्टी सेकेंड्स का वीडियो है इससे एग्जिट कर जाइए फिर से आप लिंक पे क्लिक करिए यून कर कोई वीडियो कभी कभी अटक जाता है हाँ एक बार इस अच्छा तो स्विच ऑफ करना पड़ेगा या तो आपस वापस चलते हैं लेट्स गो बैक टू द क्लास एंड देन कम बैक अगेन फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन गो टू द क्लास वो वीडियो अगेन टू मोटिवेट देम नहीं <coughs> ये कटने में दिक्कत हो रहा है क्या करेंगे ये किसी दूसरे वीडियो पे क्लिक करो आप यहीं पर इसको छोड़ के ये वाला ये वाला एट थर्टी से आठ मिनट तैतीस सेकंड का है ना वो नाइन मिनट फिफ्टीन सेकंड्स का है आई डिसाइडेड टू बी अ लॉयर and not an engineer because i saw that people from top lot of people say how to avoid heart attack doctor you think there's a block in the vessel is cause of heart attack no block in the vessel is a good business for me i can tell you i i want to bypass that and give you take about 5 lakhs from you ye to nahi hai sir ye nahi hai अभी देखो आप इससे एग्जिट कर सकते हो क्या नाइन मिनट फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स का है वो वीडियो बहुत अब इसी को चला के देखो ये How to treat heart blockage? But that block has been bypassed by nature and or God long ago. Otherwise, you would live. Supposing you are hundred percent block, how can you survive? So, as the block appears over a period of years, the collaterals come. I have a A patient in Mangalore. This man saw me about forty years ago, when he was about fifty plus, and he brought an A angiogram where all vessels are blocked. Every single vessel of his heart was blocked, and he said, uh, "Doctors asked me to immediately have bypass surgery." So I looked at the angiogram. Nature had done so much a bypass; his whole heart was so beautifully supplied by blood. 
So I told him, look, you don't require anything. Nature has done the job. We can only do a cosmetic work on top of it and harm you. So don't worry. But his children were all in America. So they thought, this village doctor doesn't know. So they took their father to America. They went to Mayo Clinic and showed their angiogram. That Mayo Clinic doctor said, send your father back home. Ask him to have a peg of whiskey every night and enjoy life. He will not die. Don't touch him. And that man is alive now, 94. And you can see him today, 94. Ramrod straight. He had three cancers after that in the last 40 years. Surveyed all the cancers also. And this is a very quick man. If you look at, if you read Mangalore newspapers, this man has now taken the voluntary job of chief traffic warden. Early morning at 9 o'clock, he's about 6 feet, 5, 4 inches height. He'll put on that police dress and come and stand in Hampalkatta and uh, direct traffic. At the age of 94, and he's so fit and healthy. Why is he healthy? He has a healthy mind. I always say, mind your mind, your heart will be fine. If you don't mind your mind, and fill the mind with hatred, jealousy, greed, ego, depression, etc., you will die of a heart attack very soon. The cause of a heart attack is not the block, but a bad mind. It's a bad mind that attracts a clot, and the clot kills. And if you had a block earlier, you probably don't die. If you didn't have a block, if you were very young and didn't have a block at all, if you get a heart attack, you will die instantaneously on the spot. That's called sudden death syndrome, which is different from a heart attack. Before the heart attack occurs, you are dead. So your heart on postmortem looks normal. But you may die, have died of a heart attack because the heart attack is called electric death. And this happens. It happens in two circumstances. A, if you are an alcoholic, if you eat, drink a lot of alcohol, your wiring inside the heart gets eaten up, moth eaten, and wiring gets snapped one day. So you suddenly drop down dead. But if you have a heart attack and you are old and have many blocks, you will never die. You will have chest pain, come to the doctor, make the doctor rich and you will go on and on and on, jug on, and you don't die. So, the secret is, the block in the vessel, coronary vessel, is not the cause of a heart attack. Recently, they did study in America. They took angiograms of people, lot of people, and everybody had some block. So, they didn't interfere, don't, didn't tell them, but wrote down, this man has a block in the left anterior descending artery, and if he gets a heart attack, he must have a heart attack in the territory. Like that they left and then observed them over the last 20 years. Now a few of them did have a heart attack, but never in the area where there is a blocked vessel. So blocked vessel is not the cause. Where there is an open vessel, that got a clot and that had a heart attack. But even then what happens is, we simply frighten you because that's our business. Just now I was talking to a friend of mine sitting here and he was saying, he is absolutely fine. <coughs>
Tripathi. Pramod Tripathi. Actually, one of the participants this year who got the gold medal from me was our former Home Minister, Sushil Kumar Shinde. And Shinde told me, Sir, with about 20 units of insulin three times a day and three tablets, my sugar used to be, average used to be 240. With this boy's treatment, it has never gone beyond 110. And I'm very happy and healthy now. So this is what is possible. But unfortunately, commercial medicine is different from real, real scientific medicine. And if you want to know the scientific medicine, it's very easy to live a healthy life. Healthy life, if you want to live, have a healthy mind. And the word that kills you is that arrogance. I, you know, I, ah, do you know who I am? I'm a high court judge. I'm this or that. That I starts illness. When once you say we, it starts wellness. All that you do is <laughs> convert that I into we. That's all as simple as that. So the things that kill you are the negative feelings in your mind. The kill things that keep you healthy are positive feelings for others. If you want to be healthy and happy, make others healthy and happy. I always tell my students, each one, at least reach one. Reach one life so that he is made happy. And a lot of people go in search of happiness. I'll be happy when I get my daughter married. I'll be happy when I become the Chief Justice of uh, India. I'll be happy when I become the Prime Minister of India. You'll never be happy. If you are happy today, you'll be happy all your life. So happiness is a journey. Happiness is not a goal. And what is a simple formula for happiness, tell me? Catch hold of a man who is unhappy, make him happy. <laughs> and happiness will come back. Happiness and love are like the mirror, you know. Christina, an American poet, has wrote, if love is what you give away, love is what comes back each day. So it comes and hits you back. So you love another person, the world loves you. You love yourself only and don't love nobody and hate others, you kill yourself faster. So friends, convert yourself, I, illness to we, wellness. You will all be very healthy. Then a lot of people think, oh, if I eat this, I'll be healthy. If I run a mile every day, I'll be healthy. If I run a marathon now and then, I'll be healthy. All not correct. You are healthy if your mind is healthy. You don't have to even run nothing, nothing of the sort. You can eat anything. As long as you don't eat when you're not hungry, you are fine. If you don't eat too much and become obese, you are fine. Eat what you like. What? So I was telling you uh, the video which I had selected would have given a little more uh, this thing, the opening. But uh, we will try and see if the next time we are able to show it to you. And here also he has clearly said that blockage is not the reason. Open yes, artery sir. is the reason for uh, heart attack. Hmm. Doesn't this surprise? There are so many people yes, who immediately I get can. this thing. Even yeah. if they don't have a heart, artery blockage, any, any, any... Every second part of the second you don't get off. Sorry. So, any, any pain in the chest, any pain in the hand, any pain at the back, immediately angiography is done. <laughs> hmm. And during angiography, it is confirmed that you will be given one or two studs as gifts. Fear factor, fear factor. And, and if you actually have a blockage, then they will push you to for bypass surgery. And they may, may, will make you heart patient for life, rest of life. <laughs> okay. So I think today we have taken a lot of time and discuss things. Now, next is going to be practical classes on uh, various ailments. Actual cases will be discussed. And then we will be talking about uh, in detail what this case is, what is the diagnosis, how it can be, uh, how it was progressed. So we will be uh, talking about the cases already have come to me.
and have been solved. Then I then went now next six months. The plan is that we will be doing practicals. And for this, um, it may be better that you can keep a record. You should have pen, paper and all this to help you out to note things which may be helpful to you or which you find helpful. Because yeah. it will all be uh, ver verbatim, whatsoever I'll be talking, whatsoever comes to my mind, I'll be discussing and talking. And whatsoever questions you will you will be asking, that I'll be answering. Okay. So uh, you have to be a little more alert in the class, in the practical classes, because this is what you are going to do. This is what you are going to how help people. Yes, so you must be very clear. Now, do you want me? How do you want me to start practicals? I thought of going random. But do you want me to discuss practical system wise, organ wise, or do a random uh, practical? Okay. Random means system any wise, case. Oh, good, sir. Uh, system wise, it will. System wise, thoda better. better system wise, better. System wise, thoda better. Yeah. Yes, sir. Because uh, when... uh, next day, if we have any doubt, we can uh, remind that particular okay. disease of particular system. Okay, because uh, you are not you, you are not going to get the patient system wise. One yeah, patient that's... may be a heart patient, the other patient may be a cancer <laughs> patient, and the third patient may be arthritis patient, and fourth mm -hmm. patient may be suffering with asthma, yes, and sir. fifth may be having blood pressure. Yes. So you are going to get random uh, patients. Mm. Mm. Right. Do we so your, have a... Your mind has to work in random. <laughs> and in ten, random and tandem both. Mm. Do we have a xylopathy food supplement oh, books like this? Tandem. Which no, you have written. No, uh, Rixel, we don't have any, uh, we do not have too much of material on gyropathy because uh, I have not yet written too much. <coughs> but now I have uh, been interested with the responsibility of creating at least 10 books on gyropathy. Yes, yeah, you should. So it is taking a lot of time and since I'm not a writer by profession or by birth, mm. I'm finding it too difficult. <laughs> Charu has, I was talking to Charu today. She said, Ki, okay, let me try and help you out with this. Okay. So next day I come. Ah, I'm just closing it. It will help us a lot, no? Yeah, I'll try and produce books, but let's see. It's because I have to handle my daily patients, then calls from various patients. Then I have to uh, take a class every alternate day. Mm. Then I have to write books and then manage administration, developer, development of new products <laughs> and labeling and everything of all products, whether well, there is tremendous amount of work. Mm. So let's see, I, I'm trying my best so that uh, by the end of this year, maybe I may not be able to give you books now, but in within a year, we will have the books ready, which will be of help. And Thank then you. Uh, I start recording uh, start noting down all cases like it happens in uh, law that the cases are, uh, become the reference point mm. for the next rule to be followed okay so likewise i am planning yeah, i should start writing in that manner so that whatsoever because every case is typical yes. no two cases are same mm. yes 
So the plan is to write these cases so that as a they can work as a reference. So a lot of writing is to be done. And I don't know how far I will be successful in doing all this. But I'll try and do my best to help you all. So you can also do some writing in the class on practicals at least. Yes, sir. Which can be your personal record for dealing with these cases. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. So, uh, sure. do you want me to start random again? One more question after I have given a thought yes, to this, given clarification. Do you want it a random discussion on cases, day-to-day -day basis, whatsoever are coming, or you want again organ wise only? No random for me not to do. <laughs> Random. But you say it like uh, patients will be like. Uh, Sometimes random. it's okay. Uh, yeah, patients. Okay. In some classes, we can do randomly also. Because you will you will neither be cardiologist, you will neither be rheumatologist, you will neither be nephrologist, you will neither be, and you will be all of this. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. So, so that is what it is going to be. Mm. So I think if you have to develop overall, then don't mm. be uh, this thing. Handle the patients as they come. Handle them. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. True. So from next on class onwards, we will start with random patients. Yes, sir. Okay, on sir. various ailments, and let's start discussing this and. You should make your personal notes because that will be helpful to you. Yes, sir. In later part, if you refer back to this. Yes, okay, sir. thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks for attending. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Happy much. weekend. Happy weekend, everyone. Happy weekend. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you.